So now, normally I take that part in the uh, presentation, but we have our special guest. I'm so happy he's here as well. Uh, Markus Schmieke, the founder of Time Waver, which is, uh, this is, it's a world changing technology, okay? It has helped thousands and thousands of people. And again, the idea came up to bring Healy to the market, bring Healy to the world so we can reach 100 million people or even more with this device, accessible for everyone around the world. And there's one quote before I bring Marcus into, the, into, into this webinar um, that I would like to read for you. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than all the previous centuries of its entire existing. And I think this is a really important statement from Nikola Tesla because Markus Schmieke, he was actually a monk. And I'm sure he can share a little bit about his very, very interesting story in a second. He was a monk for, I think, 12 years when he was 18 or 20 years old. He moved to India in a temple. So he is really the non-physical phenomena about spirituality. But now he is one of the most known quantum physics in the world and the inventor of this quantum sensor and the technology behind it, which is combined to science. So what we are doing right now, we really combine non-physical phenomena with science. And this is exactly what Nikola Tesla predicted. When we do that, we will have quantum leaps in the development of this technology and also in our lives. So let me bring in Marcus and let me find out how I do that because I need to unmute him. Or you need to unmute yourself, Marcus. Marcus, are you here? How can I do this? Hi, Max. Yes, I'm here. Hi. Okay, now, now I'm here completely. Now you are finally. Good to see you again, my friend. It's been a while. Uh, wait, now I, need, I don't see you anymore. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, Marcus, it's been a while. Thank you so much for being on the call. Um, yeah, Marcus, I thought uh, who could explain better about Healy, Time Waver, its past, its partners like Nuno Nina and Christian Halper, then you can. So I'm, I'm very happy and pleased to welcome you on that call and finally see you again, my friend. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing fine. Great. Yeah. Nice to see you again, Max. When I was listening very carefully to your talk and what I realized, what I recognized is that you're again having a broken heart right now. You know me better than most of the people I'm all the time fighting with my broken heart but I love to struggle because we grow from it <laughs> but anyway you said you have a frequency for it so it should be fine <laughs> yeah great exactly. no, I, I, I thank you for for all of you for this uh, nice presentation I enjoyed it a lot um, and um, I liked the way how you presented Healy in a very fresh way um, and yeah, you mentioned that um, the product itself, it's very much connected to my own way, how I got to this product, to my own story, uh, how, which people I met in my life and so on. So all this is, uh, is a long story and I don't want to um, make it too long, but I like to mention this time, um, which you mentioned also when I was a monk, to, was approximately 12 years. Um, I started uh, quite young as one after my uh, studies of physics. Mm, actually, I have to begin the story earlier because um, when I went to university, I was uh, 17 still. And that time I was in a phase which um, is still with me, this very intense urgency to to look deeper into what life is. Like, remember when you all started your life, I mean, you're almost in, the, in this age still, uh, but you remember when you started your life, you know, after puberty or something, um, you're not like any adult who thinks, okay, how, how will I earn my money for livelihood? You know, how will I pay in for my pension? You know, this is not the thoughts which you have. You want to conquer the world, you know, you want to, conquer the world in one way or the, in the, or the other, but my way of conquering the world was, was that time to really, to really find out what it is all about. Who am I? What is my relationship to the universe? You know, I, I was sitting with my friends and always <laughs> the, the conversation back to this, this question, you know, and I, I started actually with this realization that I, <clears throat> I am pure consciousness. Everything else is just a content of my consciousness. 
this computer in front of me, which you cannot see because it is in front of me, um, is in the first place just within my consciousness. So, and you cannot see the computer <clears throat> because the computer looks at me. So in the same way, we cannot see the consciousness because the consciousness looks at the world. So the consciousness is basically the basis of all. <clears throat> it's my first reality. So I, I had this realization. I could only think of myself in terms of consciousness. So and, and that time I, I, I just know, know, I just knew that if I'm consciousness, then what is life about? Is it about creating a big um, impact into the material world? No, it's not. It's about the development of consciousness because this is what I'm taking out of this life. I'm not taking anything material. I'm taking only whatever has happened to my consciousness, the, the way how my consciousness developed the quality. So this was an approach which I didn't get from my parents. I didn't get it from school. I didn't get it from my chess club. You know, it just was there. It was a realization how I, I started into 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 this life you know and this this is still with me of course now a little older than that time almost a, yeah a good part of my life in between now and that time i realized okay this was maybe also a little imbalanced you know because there's life and life in itself is a value and has a value so everything we're having around here all this material energy all this this matter around this is basically a reflection of our consciousness. So our life is a manifestation of this very consciousness I was talking about. So it's not white and black. It's not black and white. So the life I am living is extremely important. You know, it's extremely important because it, it's in the now, it's in the, in the present moment, which is probably the most close we can come to eternity. It's the, the present moment. So you see, but um, my decision to become a monk, it was not when I was 15, 16, but I finished school and I quickly went to the army. This was a very quick visit because the army and me didn't really fit, but it was an experience. <laughs> so they kicked me out in honor after four weeks. So I could, could start to study and I, I started physics because um, you know why? Why did I decide to start physics when I thought it's all about consciousness? Because that time already, when I was sixteen, I started to look into quantum physics. My teacher gave me uh, university textbooks on quantum physics because school was quite boring. So I I had the chance to, and I had a great teacher of physics in, in school, absolutely great man. So he helped me that time already to get an understanding of quantum physics. So before I was 17, I realized physics, it's all about consciousness. It's nothing else. In quantum physics, consciousness is so intrinsic, built into the system that without consciousness, there is no matter. So again, looking into quantum physics, I realized that my, my, my feeling that consciousness is the basis is uh, recognized by modern science. Consciousness is the basics, basis of all quantum events and everything is quantum events in this uh, material energy. So this thing out of there, even this computer in front of me doesn't exist independent of my consciousness. What a, amazing realization. This is actually the realization which physics came 100 years ago. 100 years ago, 1920 was approximately the time when all this quantum physics condensed and realized. And, you know, now 100 years after, we still didn't get it. We still didn't get it. Universities didn't get it. The professors at, at universities are still talking about uh, quantum physics, if it would just be another physics like Newton's and so on. So, but then if you do look deeper into uh, quantum physics, 
you realize that there is a um, and something analog to consciousness in on the material side because of course it's energy but but how is energy um, manifested it manifests fast through vibration in quantum physics and it's not that the energy vibrates but the energy the quantums of energy are um, consist consist of frequencies that's a big difference you might think in terms of energy so if the energy starts to vibrate then things are going on you know but that's not the real picture energy doesn't exist as a continuum in quantum physics but only in quantums and these quantums are vibration and vibrations are frequencies so frequency is even more fundamental than energy and it's very closely connected to consciousness and then remember after my, my after uh, after finishing my uh, university studies of physics and philosophy i make it very short um, i realized that my questions why i started to study physics were not answered but there were more questions and i had no idea how uh, university could answer that, them. I could stay 100 years at university, it will not answer. It will just create more unanswered questions. So I decided I need to go another way. I need to go deeply into consciousness. I have to leave everything else aside. And this is what you're doing if you become a monk, especially if you become a monk in a very old spirit tradition in India which are completely focused on, on consciousness and not on the external. So this was my decision then. But then studying this old Sanskrit text, the same thing was confirmed because in the old Sanskrit texts, the Vedic text, the basis is consciousness. But on top of consciousness, vibration is the center of reality and vibration has frequency. So the same same story which i found in modern physics i found again leaving physics aside and looking into the oldest texts which humanity has the oldest scriptures and they all talk about consciousness vibration and frequency um, it's called akash in sanskrit you have heard this the yes. akasha chronic yeah so the akasha chronic is another important concept which is very important for healing because Akash means space, but it means the space behind space, which is not a space extended. The ether, but right, Marcus? It's like the ether, basically, the room, the, the everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the everything, so it's the nothing. So everything and nothing don't give us a clue what it is. So you have so Marcus, to tell us how did you eventually connect spirituality and your findings and your discovery from the from, from the from the time you were a monk into the quantum physics into the science into the technology and into building the time waiver yes actually the, the question is comes at the right moment because telling my story i'm just arriving at this point because at one point i realized oh my god what i'm looking in here in the laboratory of consciousness means being a monk but as a monk also looking into the old knowledge, both sides come to the same point that you have to look into consciousness, uh, vibration and frequency. And there's another concept and that's extremely important because the, even the basis of, there is a basis of frequencies and vibration which connects it in, with it consciousness. And this is Akash. And Akash is not really the level what you said, it's space, but it's it's much deeper. It's it's the level of information. The level of information behind space, how space is structured, which vibration appears at which point in the space, at which time, what is the exact frequency? This is information, this is numbers. So information is the basis of the whole concept. And this is confirmed one by one of the greatest contemporary quantum physicists on this world. He's from Vienna. His name is Anton Seilinger. He, he's called Mr. Beam because he's able to actually beam um, elementary particles from Tenerife to, to La Palma. This is the greatest distance which he managed. So um, very advanced. And he said, if you look at the deepest level of reality, 
it's not matter, but it's information. It's pure information. And this is what I call the information field. So this is where my journey to Healy started. I realized there is an information field, the Akash, which has all the deeper um, information, all the knowledge about how our body is structured, how our cells are communicating, how I, our cells are combining to, to form organs. So this information field is so important. You, we have to connect to it. And we are connecting to the information field with our brain every moment. We could not exist otherwise, you know? When I'm talking now, I'm not talking conscious. I'm becoming conscious about what I'm talking, but it's all prepared in the unconscious. And the unconscious is connected to the information field. So then I had this um, ambition. This was around 1998. I was still a monk, but it was, was a fading phase of my monkhood, you know? I already realized I'm not meant to be a monk. I have to back, go back to the world. I have to, I have to start a life beyond monkhood, but with a, still with the st same ideas. So that time I met Burkhard Heim, a physicist who had actually a mathematical model of the information field. And from him, one of the greatest scientists of his time, a disciple of Werner Heisenberg, the, the father of quantum physics, physics from him I learned how to yeah the basics of how to create a quantum sensor to connect the information field so then in the year 2000 I stopped being a monk it was exactly the time actually it was 2001 2001 my my being a monk stopped I um yeah this is another story I don't tell today um, but it was also the year when Burkhard Heim died. He was already very old when I met him in 1998, but he passed away. So, and I had to promise him the knowledge which I got from him. I will only use, use for the benefit of the people. So it was 2001, in January 2001, when, when I decided to start to develop a technology based on everything I have learned. And the first thing which I managed to, to build out technologically was a quantum sensor to, um, to read the information field, to get the information from the very, very deep level of the unconscious, from the unmanifest, what is behind our body, what is behind our health. And this was the most important thing. It took me another five years to build a real prototype which could work and another year to bring it to the market. And this was the time waiver device. The time waiver device connects to the information field. That time we didn't create frequencies out of it. This came later, but we used it to read the information field to get a deeper understanding of what is going on, to look into the causes of a disturbance or of a disease, what is behind in the information field. And, but then you have the slide here, when I met Nunu Nina, it was 2009 or 2010. Another two, three years after uh, we launched Time Weber, I came to his clinic. Of course, I have studied everything about frequencies already. I, I studied Tesla from starting my university studies. I already published a book about frequencies 1990, 1997, which is called The Fields of Life. But when I met Nuno Nina, I got convinced that we have to integrate it in our technology on a very, very important level because I saw what you can do if you find frequencies from the information field. If you just apply any frequency to you or to anyone else, there might be effect or not. But if you get the, inf the frequency through the information field, exactly the frequency which you need right now, then it's a resonance effect. It's a resonance effect. And quantum physics is all about a resonance effect. If you get the right resonance, and there's not one resonance, but there's a spectrum of re resonances. If you got, get the right resonance, you change the quantum state of the system. And this is what we are intending to do with Healy. Markus, sorry to interrupt. Um, just correct me if I'm right or wrong, but I remember Nunu Nina, he was actually the genius 
who was helping and treating people with frequencies and just by his knowledge and understanding about frequencies, he could kind of define himself what kind of frequencies that person need. But he has never had the technology like what you basically created for him that a quantum sensor can actually analyze and then read exactly the frequencies that person needs. So he doesn't need to do his no or use his knowledge anymore, but now he got a technology for that. Is that correct? Absolutely correct. Um... And I, I'm so happy that I don't have to tell all the things you have already. All I'll bring up have, point. Quick, quick, boop, boop. <laughs> All of you have understood it quite well, so I don't have to add. But yeah, that's actually true. Nunonina uh, got to know about me from a friend of him or a disciple of him in Norway. It's a natural practitioner. His name is Jan Frederick Polichinski. And he actually developed the deep cycle, which you have mentioned, which is one of our greatest cycles of frequency programs covering all the bioenergetic uh, uh, field situations. So he has already worked with a device which I developed, the time waiver. And he told Nuno, Nuno Nina, he told him that in Germany, there are people they can find frequencies from the information field. So when Nuno heard this, he immediately contact, contacted me and said, if you really have such a device, I said, yes. Uh, he said, I trust you. I immediately sense that we are brothers. So I visit you in Germany. I will come next day. I said, no, stay where you are. The weather in Germany is not very good. It was end of September, but I come to you. The weather in Lissabon is much better. So I like to come to the uh, to the Atlantic Ocean. So I visited him, but the real reason I came to him is I wanted to see his clinic. I, because every everyone can talk a lot, you know, but I, I can t tell you anything, but uh, you have to check yourself, the Healy, if it's really true what I'm talking and you have done. So in the same way, I wanted to see his clinic. I wanted to talk to his patients. I wanted to talk to the doctors who are working in his clinic. So I spent almost a week in Lissabon, partly on the beach, main part in the clinic. And I, I, I talked to many patients and I've seen how he works and that he urgently needed our device so to be more effective because he himself, as you said, he could find the frequencies. He just had the feeling for it. He had just had the intuition. His brain could read the information field like our brain can but he was more conscious about it. So in this week, we, we worked actually very hard um, on the concept of a device which he could use in his clinics, which combines my knowledge and all the clinical experience, how to use frequencies and the frequencies which he found in 15 years to, to, to have a medical device, a medical device, which is, which is legal to be used in clinics. It's a very hard job. And this is the job we did in the next two and a half years. And the outcome was actually something like the Healy, something exactly that, like the Healy, but big like this, <laughs> in five kilograms, and it sells for 18,000 euro, almost 20,000 euro, because there's so much behind and so much service and so much knowledge behind and very costly in production. So it took us from that time another seven years to make it so small, make it so smart, connect it to the internet, build a quantum sensor inside. I show you the quantum sensor, here it is. You see, this is my special Healy prototype. Only one of them exists in the world. It has a hole in the back. So if you look inside, <laughs> you actually see nothing <laughs> because of the light. <laughs> you can see nothing, but if you could see inside, I can see inside. I see the quantum sensor. So uh, the quantum sensor is built in the Healy. It's right in the center of the back side of the electronic circuit. And on the front side, you have all the frequency generators and the CPU to control it, to create the frequencies which you need uh, actually with enough microcurrent so that you can feel it and that it reaches all the cells in your body. Wow. Hey, uh, look, I think this is again so worth mentioning. We have basically now an armada of geniuses. Okay. One of them is Nuno Nina, who is actually, you know, actually 
utilizing and uh, applying frequencies on patients and clients. And then we have this medical advisory board with all the knowledge about the frequencies, about what frequencies people need in what kind of situations to what kind of conditions. And we combine it to this technology. Yeah, you, have to, you have to see that we have now almost 15 years of experience. Okay, I'm exaggerating. It's almost 14 years of experience since, since we started to work with Time Waver, which since our therapist started to have patience which, with Time Waver. And so with frequencies, we're having around 12 years of experience. We started with magnetic frequencies, but we found that electrical frequencies are to extent more effective because they go to the cells and create a magnetic field not the way around. The magnetic field also goes to the cells and creates an electric current, but the other way is much more direct. So we have 12 years of frequencies now, practical experience with, I think more than 1 million people who got treatments with time level. So all this connects. And of course, as you mentioned, it's, it's embodied in the, in the, uh, within the doctors of our medical advisory board. Yes. Hey, Marcus, uh, this is unbelievable. There's so much information. I know this one can go on and on and on. Let me tell you later on, we have a, a Q and A um, for several questions for you. So it will go on and on and on, but maybe we're going to move a little bit further. And I would like you to talk a lot about uh, your, your partner and mm -hmm. your good, good friend as well, Christian Halper, who is obviously a very essential part of the last years with Time Waver and also Healy. Yes, absolutely. Christian Halper is, is a man behind Healy also like I am. And um, meeting him, I think it, it was exactly the same year when I started to um, started with Time Weber 2007. It's the year when I met him. Uh, also 14 years ago, almost 13 years ago. And that time he still was the manager and founder of Superfund. So he was a very active manager of one of the greatest, biggest um, hedge funds in Europe. So the way how he, he f invented a uh, super fund was also invention because it made hedge funds available from people, for people who could just inv invest 500 marks or 500 euros at that time. Um, this was something very new. So with this kind of new hedge fund, he and um, he became very, very, very wealthy. You can imagine. He was taking care of billions and billions of that time, not euro, but nowadays it's euro. And um, so he got he got a very deep side, deep, deep insight into how the financial industry functions. So he was that time very successful, but a um, little later af after I met him, he came to the very strong realization that he doesn't want to support the financial system on this globe, on this planet anymore. Because he, he realized probably that the financial system is not anymore doing anything good to the people so much, but it got its own dynamic and it doesn't have a great future. So he decided to do an exit from his hedge fund. And this gave him the freedom and also the, uh, the resources to um, do things which he really believed in, that they help humanity, especially sustainable, sustainable products, ecological products, products which support health people, and most important conditions for anything he would invest in would that it supports the development of the consciousness of the people in general on this planet because he believed in that's the only way out of the problems. We created the problems by our consciousness so we can only solve them by changing consciousness. And this is how we got to know each other. He came to me, he visited one of my seminars. We immediately connected to each other and I told about the research which we are doing in, in consciousness, quantum physics, and frequencies. So he immediately became a part of the team and supported our institute for doing research. And uh, he, he started to work with Time Weber immediately. And like this, we became closer and closer friends. 
we were closer and closer together. And the vision of Healy was actually what got him in as an investor into our the company. Remember, you talked about Nikolai Tesla in the beginning. You know, he is, he is outstanding, absolutely, historically outstanding. But he didn't become successful. Why didn't he become successful? Because of the funding. Exactly, because those who were funding him at one point realized, oh my God, he wants to make people independent of centralized energy production and so on. Oh my God, he wants to give people freedom with his, his technology. When they realized this, they stopped his funding from one moment to the other and Nikolai Tesla became a broken man. He never got out of the situation again in, in a real way. So this is, I'm very lucky that I found someone, I mean, our business was from the very beginning so successfully, so successful that Time Ever was growing very quickly all over the world with thousands of therapists using it. But believe me or not, the invention of the development of Healy was so expensive. Um, and the risk I could only take by having some ve a very, very strong partner like Christian besides, besides me, who backs me up and who, 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 who would, yeah, who would support the whole thing. Without having another strong sh shoulder be, be besides me, I would not have dared to start this, uh, this project and then do the most crazy thing which a monk can imagine to start a social selling, a global social selling, what we did in, I don't know, 45 markets in one, one year. <laughs> you know, this is insane. Yeah. You know, it is insane, a... but it's crazy. And I, I think it's so wonderful, Marcus. And I just, I think it's so important that we talk about this because it really, uh, for all the listeners, uh, they, may, they have to understand as well that the intrinsic idea, the, the vision of you and also Christian Halper, of course, is not financially driven. You know, I mean, you have a beautiful products out there and what is the end goal? Bring it into the market. But this is here not only about the, the, the finances. This is not about making money, but it's really about creating awareness around the playing, lifting up the consciousness of the people and create a better planet and a better life for all of us. And I think this is just a beautiful mission. I, I, I think I can speak for everybody that we are so deeply grateful for you guys to push this out in the market. And maybe you didn't know that, but most of the members where we're going out and representing the Sealy to, people say like, this is what I've been waiting for. It's like almost like people started to manifest this one. It's coming into people's hand and they're just like, this is what I have been waiting for. And it's the most easiest distributed product in, in our hands that ever came across. Because right now we are in the shift of a consciousness shift. There is a big pivot happening in this world. Then the timing of a quantum device like Healy, a frequency device couldn't be better. You know, with a company that is really driven by good purposes, by good reasons to make this world a better place. And I, I'm 100% deeply grateful man. For, for, me, for me myself. I really left everything on the side to completely focus on Healy. And I'm not the only one. I know Taryn here, Sarah, and most of the people in the testimonials and in the call today who are with Healy. This is the mission. This is why we are driven. This is why we are so happy to have you on the call because this is what you built. And you, you not only did this, but all of us kind of manifested it together yeah. because now it's coming into the world and it's a changing, would you agree? Absolutely. And I think that Marcus, I, you know, our community especially would really appreciate all that you've shared and uh, particularly around, you know, the intent behind what, what, why Healy is here and the, and, and the intent behind Healy as a company, why Christian got on board, why you guys are really involved in this. Because I don't know if you've, if you've had a look around our community inside this Facebook group, but they're very, very, you know, awakened conscious people that are, that are here to really make a really positive change. And as I think I said in the beginning, you know, we would, we were, it's such a beautiful product to be able to create incredible change. And it's a beautiful product for people to be able to create their own abundance. And that's what I think is so amazing is that we get to, we get to have a tool where we're able to create incredible abundance for these beautiful people that want to have, you know, want to make incredible change on the planet. So I think that, yeah, they would be, and Absolutely, I can see because I can see all the love hearts that are going through on the live. Everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing! It's amazing! We love hearing from you." It's it's wonderful, Marcus. <laughs> I tell you that, and I remember we had also the conversation a few months ago. I think it was September or October in the castle, you know, where we projected this one. We see the social selling. We see this 
amazing unicorn product, which is so driven by people. Yeah, I have this unicorn product. It's so easy to sell. But the thing is, the truth is, it's creating awareness like a ripple effect around the planet and social selling network marketing makes it possible to create spiritual communities all over the planet because normally a, a person like you is not drawing somebody tooling somebody in and say like listen to the truth listen to my truth i want to explain it to you you don't do that but the moment somebody starts using healy and say like oh my discomfort is getting better oh shit I feel more aware what's going on with me. And now you go to the next step, the next step. And this is exactly what Healy is doing to everyone around the world. And because of social selling, this is what's possible. So deeply and highly appreciated. And it's the right way to move forward. And you know, I would really love, uh, cause it's, I don't know if you're in the Facebook at all, but they're just, it's how much they love you, how much they appreciate you, all the love and thanks and that so much. And they just feel like it's such a blessing that you've brought this to the, to the world and, and, and to this community. And I would love if we can do right now is to actually share with some of the other people that are on here as well. And they can give some of their testimonials around, around uh, using Healy and, and what it's done for them. So we will just pop up a couple of people and when we'll get back to you, Marcus, would it okay. be okay, Marcus, if we can do a couple of little questions with you from some of the, from some of the other members of the community? Uh, they're so excited to be able to pick your brain and share the wisdom that you have in there. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to actually go through uh, a couple of different members that we have in here. And they've got some burning questions that they had around Healy or, you know what, even, even you, they want to know some things about you too. So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 yes, I'm absolutely interested in your in your burning questions. <laughs> <laughs> let's yeah, go. Let's go. Let's do Jamie. this. Jamie, you're okay. on. Okay. The very first person I have to uh, ask you one of his burning questions is one of our beautiful founding members in Australia. He is also an incredible healer and an incredible speaker. He was actually one of the very first people I ever put a device on. And when he felt it, he was like, whoa, this is what happens to me. So um, welcome, Jamie. And Jamie, if you would love to, you know, maybe even share a little bit about your story and, and how you've been sharing it, and then uh, ask Marcus a, a question. Absolutely. Greetings, everyone. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And Marcus, many blessings to you, my friend. This device is just such a gift, such a gift. And after, um, you know, being a spiritual healer and a, and a coach for over 25 years, I just, from the moment that uh, Peter reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to look at a link to a video uh, to when Taryn actually gave me the first scan and treatment, <clears throat> how I felt after that was so connected. My appetite was huge. When I walked outside, the colors, it was so bright. It was exactly how I felt after a spiritual healing with my healer that I studied with for, for 25 years. So for me, I just felt this like instant connection to what this little thing is. And since then, I've just been on a mission. I've scanned over 100 and now 70 people uh, on the East Coast of Australia and run over at least, I'd say, close to 1,000 programs with people. And I've seen so many mind-blowing shifts within everyone. And I've just, I feel very blessed for this opportunity. Um, I have like literally a million questions and I'll be more than happy to ask them to you when I'm sitting with you in the castle. Um, but, <laughs> but I think for right now, based on everything that's happening in the world, my, 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 I suppose my most burning question would be, you know, in the, in the current international climate that we're all experiencing, what specific Healy program protocols can we follow to strengthen our field and to help protect our cells and our DNA. Definitely, it's also individual according to if somebody has knows about some weaknesses which he has into his system, which are especially now important to balance. He can go to specific programs, but otherwise, my favorite programs are even in this time. Uh, the basic programs of the gold cycle. So the pure, uh, the balance and the being programs of the gold cycles are always most <clears throat> fundamental. Um, and of course, care, as Max already mentioned, especially important in this time. So if you take these four programs, care, pure, balance, and being, 
you have a very, very strong basis. Of course, there is a uh, special release program for this, uh, 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 I don't know, it happens a few weeks ago that we released it. It's called Bioenergetic Boost. This is a program which I would definitely recommend to run every day. But I would uh, complement it to the, uh, with the programs of the Gold Cycle, the four programs which I have mentioned. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, once you, again, we can see that uh, the gold programs are really uh, so essential again. Um, so next question is our beautiful, wow, what an amazing picture, Ness. Incredible. So Ness, maybe you want to share your question. Ness? Well, we can't hear you, Ness. <laughs> well, let's try lip, lip reading. <laughs> Ness, are you there? Okay, let's get, let's get, let's get maybe the next question, Ness, or, or you write your question. I don't think she has your audio on. Okay, let's, let's maybe continue for now with Rebecca. Rachel. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> That's okay. I'll forgive you, Max. Max. <laughs> Please. <Yeah. laughs> um, okay. Um, so, Marcus, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be here and thrilled to uh, to be asking you this question. And like Jamie, I've got loads of questions. But <laughs> the question I really want to ask you today is: um, although there are a lot of people who are aware of quantum and energetic fields, does an individual's belief influence the efficacy and the results of this type of medicine? Um, as we are, we were talking a lot, lot about consciousness. Of course, the belief in oneself and what oneself is doing, that you're doing the right thing if you apply the Healy, makes a difference. We know that um, whatever we apply, um, some any anyway, traditional medicine or natural medicine or the healing. There's always two sides, two, two effects are there. The real effect and the placebo effect. So the placebo effect is depending on the, um, <clears throat> the trust and the feeling you are having about it, consciously and unconsciously, of, or, of course. But uh, Healy um, is supposed to have uh, effects above the placebo effect. Otherwise, we could not have uh, attained the medical certification in Europe uh, for so many indications. And now we got the FDA approval in the United States recently. So this uh, medical uh, certifications you can only get, get if you have sufficient uh, clinical trials in the back to, to back up that the effect is above placebo. So of course, if we give people the, the healing in a very positive way, in a very convinced way, this mood, this way of consciousness, the, the spiritual intention behind actually is helping the people. And this is why I'm believing in social selling. You know, before started starting Healy, I had not really any ex, uh, experience of this. So I was very doubtful because before we started the social selling, the Healy was given by doctors to the patients, with, uh, by, by natural, natural paths to the patients. So I had this, had this doubt, will Healy work if it is distributed in a social selling? You know, and, and the, our experience is it even works better because the energy of the people, the consciousness of the people giving it to others is so much better than if a doctor gives it. Because a doctor has to constantly focus on diseases. If another patient comes into his uh, clinic, he, he, he thinks, oh, another disease is coming. So he is taking care of diseases. So he cannot maintain this positive attitude. But what I have seen in our social selling network, it's so great people, they are so positive. They have this 
right intention and the spirituality behind. If they give a Healy to someone else, uh, this, this spark is uh, transferred to them and then the effect is even greater. Otherwise, you don't have to believe in frequencies to make them effective. The frequencies in itself do not depend on if you believe in them or not. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rachel. I won't ever forget your name again. This is crazy. <laughs> I feel horrible. Marcus, awesome. Thank you so much for the answer. Ness, you're on again. Try again. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hi Marcus, I just wanted to say thank you so much for basically changing my life and everybody that is in my life that has discovered Healy. It is just a dream come true, something I never thought would ever be possible. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And my question to you is, with all the little fear around 5G, how can we use Healy to protect ourselves? Yeah, of course, I have, I have mentioned, uh, I have recognized the uh, fear about 5G. Of course, 5G is a big, ch a big change in, in the electromagnetic environment. But I always ask the question, what is more dangerous, 5G or the fear about 5G? And my answer on this is very, very clear. The, the fear about it and the panic which is created around it is much more disastrous than the phenomenon the, the, the thing itself. So we should be very careful about creating too much nocebos. The nocebo is the opposite of a placebo. So if we create, if we like what's happening now about the current situation, um, the, the media's, uh, the way how they, the media is reporting it, in it creating a nocebo in the people so that uh, the situation becomes actually worse. And uh, so I'm very critical about hyping the fear about 5G too much. But of course, um, whatever change in the electromagnetic environment is happening will affect our system. It's actually not the, our body which is so much affected because our cells and our body is quite, um, ha has a quite good resistance against electromagnetic um, radiation. So we are quite strong as a human beings. We can survive quite something. But there is an, another effect which is much more important. And this is the effect on the microbiome in the body, it means the bacteria in our body. The bacteria, the fungi, which is um, a big part of our system. We are living in a symbiosis with these microorganisms. And they are very, very sensitive about, uh, uh, for very sensitive um, about um, electromagnetic um, influences. So it's very good to strengthen the bioenergetic system. So the answer is again, if you use the, um, the deep cycle, uh, sorry, the, the gold cycle programs um, regularly, like every day, alternating, you don't have to use them every day, uh, all of them, but every day, one or two, um, which is care and pure balance and being the most fundamental programs, they give uh, a good basis to strengthen your bioenergetic field because we cannot shield ourselves from this radiation. It's always there. And like the cosmic radiation is always there. We are used to live in this kind of influences. But the only, what, the only thing we can do is strengthen our systems um, the bioenergetic system, our bioelectric system, which is actually almost the same like the bioenergetic system. The bioenergetic system and the bioelectric systems are very closely connected. Of course, we have additional um, protection programs against uh, for electrosmog, uh, electromagnetic influences, but the gold cycle is more fundamental. So, so we, don't, we don't need any additional programs for 5G because 5G, according to, to my opinion, we can be more relaxed about the panic which is done in the alternative scene because having higher frequencies doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that your system is more strongly affected by it. 
All right. Uh, I think that's a super important question. Thank you so much, Nes. And thank you again, Marcus, for your very uh, informative answer. So next is Zach, my boy, from Sydney. Tell us your question. Hi, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah. we can. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Oh, awesome, awesome. Hey, everybody, and hey, Marcus. This has been amazing. Um, I have a question that's been burning on my mind that I'd love to ask you. My question is, I would love to know what a day in the life of you looks like, you know, from waking up in the morning to your morning routine, evening routine. Oh, no. <laughs> Before the current change or after? Say again. Uh, before the lockdown or after uh, after the lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, both, both. I'd love to know. I think I'm lagging a little bit, so I do apologize. Love to know that your morning routine, evening routine. You know what you're eating, your favorite frequencies, what you do for movement and exercise. <laughs> and uh, some of your main thoughts that you think on a daily basis, what do you think about first thing in the morning? Is it gratitude or you know, your vision? What is it that you're focusing on? Maybe I start with the less personal parts of your question. Um, uh, what I'm eating. <laughs> That's more easy. You, maybe you have recognized I was drinking this thing. It was not German beer, but it was, um, it was, uh, half a liter of uh, water with lemon juice and a little Himal Himalaya salt. So the, the first thing I'm drinking in the morning is this half liter with a lemon, actually one, one full lemon and uh, this, this much of Himalaya salt. So there's a lot of scientific evidence that if you do this every morning, it's almost, it's, it's a very strong detox, which supports the detox through the frequencies a lot. So this is, uh, a lot of studies behind something very good to do of course this is not the first thing i'm doing um from i i kept a good part of my praxis from my monkhood of course in my monkhood times i got up in the morning 3 30 to attend uh, early uh, uh, programs together with the other monks i'm not I'm trying to get up early in the morning to do my, my spiritual uh, praxis. The spiritual praxis is, uh, contains meditation, but also um, mantra meditation using mantras for focusing the consciousness. Um, the main purpose of this spiritual praxis is actually to create an, an attitude of service. Because we, uh, in this world, as an ego, we have the idea, what's in for me? The main, the main consciousness people are running around with is what's in for me. And then, of course, it's, it's, it's nice to hang out with the others. So they are also part of the game. But the first question is, you know, uh, what's in for me? This, is, um, this is be became especially popular again in this situation by one American politician who has this as a you know, written on his t-shirt, what's in for me, me first, everything connected to me first. So the opposite of this consciousness is, um, you know, what, what kind of service can I do for the others? And um, what can I, what kind of service can I do for the whole, for the collective consciousness of humanity? Or you can say for God, you know, in, if you want to express it in a religious way, or in a, in a spiritual way, you know, the it's a different language for us, but it's mainly about, um, you know, you know for, uh, developing this natural consciousness of, I'm a servant. I'm a servant of, of everyone around me, of um, if you feel connected to the collective consciousness of the people uh, on this globe, uh, you may start to act according to this also. I have asked this question myself, maybe um, four years ago, four years ago or three years ago, I don't remember anymore. I, I um, <clears throat> first time thought about getting Healy into social selling. And uh, that time it was too early because the development of Healy was not really completed. Um, but I knew if I do this, everything in my life changes. 
And believe me, my life changed before starting Healy and after, after healing, you know. I think it's happened to many of you, life really changed, but my life is not so peaceful anymore as it was before. So I ask this question, do you really, do I really want to do this? It will change my life, you know. You could, I could have stayed a monk, okay, I made a decision not to be anymore. But in, in order to answer the question, I have to answer, I had to answer another question. Am I connected? Do I have a connection to the global consciousness of humanity? And the answer which I found is yes, I have. So if I have, then I have to do a service for it. You know, and if you see everything what you do as a, as a service, then the ego functions in a completely different way. So the main sadhana, the main spiritual practice is to be aware that you are not the center of the world. It's, it's not about you. That's, uh, it's a good way to state it. And um, the other things are less important than what you're exactly doing. And you can be very busy in your service, in what you're doing for the world. You can sit down and meditate and say, okay, my meditation changes the world. It can be also a service. This is not so important anymore. Wow. Hey, Marcus, I think it couldn't be a better answer for that one. Be a service to the environment and to your life and to other people's lives. Thank you so much, this is, Zach. This is, my, this, this is my ideal, of course. I'm very, very far away from it, you know, to... to no, but you are, you are one of the egoless people I, I ever met or we all ever met, you know, and I think, again, that's why Healy makes such a difference in this world because it comes from a really, really good place. Um, thank you. So Rebecca, beautiful Rebecca, you're on. I Thank think. you. Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here. I'm really so excited. And Marcus, I have a question for you. We've heard about how Healy is working with us to create bioenergetic balance in the body, but I'm really, really interested to hear how it's working with us on the level of consciousness and subconsciousness and even how this, you know, serves to elevate the consciousness of the planet. Thank you for this question. Really, you're asking amazing questions. And um, you mentioned two things, two important things. One is that um, how the conscious aspect of our psyche um, is connected to the subconscious or the unconscious aspect of our psyche. So our whole life is actually a kind of dynamic interplay between our consciousness and the, sub, the unconscious personality. And we are like uh, an ice, ice mountain or iceberg. In Germany, it's called iceberg, uh, which 7% maximum is above the water and all the remaining is uh, under the water. This is the same for us. So actually, while we are sitting here and talking and listening and having this, in our unconscious, our future is prepared. The whole day is prepared, the week, the months, our unconscious is even preparing our future, literally, for at least the next two years. Already now, it's happening now by the impressions we are, so it's, um, give you an example, if somebody's gonna die by whatever, an accident or disease, the unconscious of this person knows it already at least one and a half years ago. So in the dreams or in a psychoanalysis, the, um, somebody who is able to read the expressions of the unconscious, he can see it. And he will not mention it to this person, of course. Um, but how can our unconscious know? Because the unconscious prepares the future right now. And this is connected to another aspect of your question. Our unconscious is not just our unconscious or subconscious. But if you go a little deeper into the unconscious, in the first if you go to the, to the surface of the unconscious, it's all personal, it's all about your shadow. If you go a little deeper, you're coming to places which 
uh, Carl Gustav Jung calls the anima, which is uh, your, the creative aspect of your personality. But if you go deeper, you're coming to a place which is not belonging to, to you only, but you're connecting to the other unconscious spaces. So there is a level where my unconscious and your unconscious and Max unconscious is connecting to be the one collective unconscious. And this is the level where you find the information field. The information field is somewhere between the personal unconscious and the collective unconscious. This is the level we are reaching to with the Healy if we find our frequencies. So if you use your Healy and I use my Healy and every one of you uses their Healy and the, in the future 100 million people using the Healy, maybe simultaneously, we are all connecting to the same deep level of the collective unconscious. So we are connected by frequencies. And these frequencies will all not only give us what we need personally to be happy and healthy for ourselves, because no one on this planet can be happy and healthy sustainably for himself only. My well being depends on your well being. My well being is your well being, and your well being is my well being on a deeper spiritual level. So, Healy connects us all to the level where we are all one, and it connects our consciousness to the unconscious. And you may ask, oh my God, how, how is it possible? I mean, this is a big picture. This is a big thing. It's only possible through the quantum uh, process because the quantum process connects the consciousness to the unconscious. Whenever an information from the unconscious wants to pop up into our consciousness, it goes through quantum processes. This is the creative center between the manifest and the unmanifest, between consciousness and unconscious, between the individual and the collective. So Healy and Time Weaver, they work on this subtle um, threshold, on this subtle border between all these different things, you know? So this, this is happening if you're using your Healy. Wow, Marcus, wow. <laughs> Thank you. What an incredibly beautiful question. And an incredibly beautiful answer, Marcus. I can just see in the Facebook Live here, everyone is just heart, like heart, heart, hearts, hearts, hearts. So um, yeah, thank you so much for, for sharing that. That was so beautiful. So the next one we have is the very gorgeous Justin. He is uh, one of our young leaders that's doing a lot of stuff in America. Justin, you can take it away. What is your question to Marcus? Well, thank you for that, Taryn. Uh, and thank you, Marcus, for being here with us. Uh, and I think you touched on the topic of my question earlier. Uh, but my question is that there's a lot of um, devices on the market now that use pulse electromagnetic field therapy as opposed to the microcurrent therapy that we use. Um, so can you just kind of better explain to us the differences and why microcurrent is perhaps better? Thank you. Actually, I, 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 really, I don't like so much to say this is better than other products. This doesn't really, um, but to explain the difference in scientific terms, this is something, of course, uh, which I can do. Um, it's very difficult to compare Healy to general uh, group of other products because each product is, um, each device out there in the market is probably specific. So, um, but in ge generally speaking, Max mentioned it already, um, the most two important features of Healy which makes, make it absolutely unique is two things. And of course more is, but this is really the, the two uh, strongest element, which in a combination and even for itself, for themselves, uh, no other device has. And the first thing is the incredible library of the gold frequencies, which we are having from Nuno Nina, 
and also nowadays from other therapists which are working from us for us with us but the basis <clears throat> as a gold frequency, the 144,000 frequencies. This frequency library is the reason why I started to develop Healy, because it's not just the library, but behind it is all the knowledge how to use these frequencies as protocols in which situations. And this is not just an invention by someone who wanted to invent something, but it's something which is uh, practiced by Nuno Nino already before we met for 15 years. And now we have another almost um, 10 years of experience. So there is, I mean, literally hundreds of thousands of cases behind these protocols. So this is something amazing, but the protocol only works by the second unique feature of Healy, which I showed to you, which is a quantum sensor. You remember the quantum sensor, which you can almost now, this is better light, you can almost get an idea that it's inside. Um, the quantum sensor, which decides in the moment, life from a quantum process, which frequency you, you, you need right now. If you combine these two things, the product, the, 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 um, the result is, is unique. And this is what Healy is about. And of course, the next thing is that Healy is really smart. And uh, don't underestimate that Healy is connected. This Healy, if I just press here through my smartphone, Healy is directly connecting to the medical cloud. So the, the whole system, the digital system, which we have set up as a real cloud worldwide with the master editor, which we are using, we are constantly putting in new frequencies. These communications of the, all the Healy's together with the Heal Advisor app, which we should really mention, it's very central. This is another feature adding to it. So the, the, the usability um, and so on. But the, the two things are behind, which make Healy unique. The 144,000 gold frequencies in connection to the um, quantum sensor connecting to the information field. Show me another product which has this, which has these two features. Thank you. There is no other product. <laughs> it's, uh, it, is, so. it is just such an amazing, amazing, amazing product. Thank you for sharing that. And of All course, right. if you look at Healy, Healy is so good as the people behind. So I, I'm very proud about the team. You know, many of the people, you, we always see a picture of uh, uh, Christian Halper and me in our presentations and um, of course, of people from the sales team, our leaders. But if you look at the amazing team, which is behind Healy, people with whom I'm working since 32 um, years with, like one of our CEOs, Babak, he's my friend since 30 years, 32 years, we are working on different projects together. So many people here in the castle are working with me. I'm working since 15 years with my assistant who came in to get me the water. We are working also since 28 years together already. So I will, I'm, I'm basing my life on very, very long-term spiritual relationships. And without these people, many of them you have not seen yet. Um, like Martin, you know, amazing friend who's uh, our product manager and our quality manager, which without these people it would be not possible. I think due to our spiritual background, we have such an amazing team. And this is also one feature of uh, Healy, which you can never copy. Mm, that's so, it's so true. It's the whole collective, isn't it? The whole beautiful collective that's bringing this to the world. And then, and then from, from that nucleus of collective, we're creating all these other collectives around it to, to, to share it to the rest of the world. So it's such a, such a beautiful model that's been created there. Yeah. Um, we have another question from another young man uh, from France, actually, although also is residing here in Bali. His name is Alex. Uh, let me just quickly share. Alex, are you ready to jump on and ask your question to, to Marcus? Can you hear me? We can. We can. Hey guys, so first, thank you so much, Marcus, for sharing this with the world. And I can back that this is a really beautiful community. I'm really interested in how we integrate technology in the future of humanity. 
And I know when I share this device with uh, spiritual communities and especially holistic healers, a lot of people are really interested, but a pushback I get sometimes is the fact that it's a device, the fact that we use technology and a device to have these higher vibrations. So my question would be, do you feel there is a risk in using a technological device and creating some sort of dependency on it? Very good question, <clears throat> because, <clears throat> sorry, um, we are living in an age of technology and technology has changed our relationship to the world. And technology in itself is developing kind of consciousness. Um, I think the development of, of conscious uh, of technology, we have not even understood how important it is. Um, and it has great chance and it has great risks. So we are trying with Healy to use the best of technology to, um, to, to, um, yeah, to, 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 to connect. So the most important thing about Healy is to connect. Normally technology, and then many times it disconnects us. Even the smartphone, which is meant to um, connect us to the world, like by communication, nowadays to many people, especially to children, is, it has this very strong effect of disconnecting from the real world. So, but, but Healy is all about connect, connecting. In Time Weaver, we have a claim, which is a part of the brand. It's Time Weaver, your connection to the information field. And we don't have this claim for Healy because Healy we place as a, as a product in the market on uh, purely on the basis of frequencies. But you know, it's about frequencies and it's about um, information field. But we are not stressing information field too much because difficult to understand for the people in the beginning, the concept. But here I can talk about. So Healy, we use a technology all about for the purpose of connecting, frequencies are connecting already because frequency is a language which um, is understood by our cells and it's simultaneously understood by the spirit because it is numbers. There's a very deep mystical aspect behind frequencies also. They connect the world. So Healy is a technology used to connect us to information field to connect us to consciousness to the uh, very deep part of nature the unconscious we are connecting to with it with the healing is a very important aspect of nature so we are connecting to deeper levels of nature so i believe that using healing as a technology um, really connects us this is my experience connects us to the to nature even um, you asked about dependency. Um, you know, the way I used Healy is I use it when I feel that I need it. And when I don't feel I need it, I don't use it. Can happen for a week, I don't use it. Sometimes <laughs> if I have some problem and I tell it to someone, they, they tell me, oh, why don't you try Healy? You know, I said, oh. Healy, I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, where's my Healy? I have not seen it for days, you know? And I, I find, okay, I have enough Healy's around, you know? <laughs> no problem. And uh, so this is, for me, it's very important. I don't, I don't personally like things you have to do every day. Like as a monk, I got crazy. You have to do meditation every day. You have to do things at a certain time in the day. This is not me, for sure not. You know, I'm chaotic, I'm spontaneous, I'm a freedom lover, everything like discipline, I, you know, destroys me. So I, therefore, to the question I got before about what you do when you get up in the morning, it's every day different. <laughs> so in the same, of course, there are certain parts I really like, like meditation and chanting and, you know, focus my consciousness, spend time with other spiritual people and so on, reading of spiritual literature or good deep literature. But yes, um, 
dependency on free on the healing is more a psychological thing. If you feel you're depending on it, you know, always keep your freedom and use Healy to strengthen your system so you don't need it anymore. But if you don't need it anymore, you still like to use it because you feel more connected. But then realize you don't need the Healy to be connected, to be connected. It's an instrument, you know. And if you don't need it anymore, great. Then it helped you so that you don't need it anymore. You can give it to someone else or keep it for emergency, you know. So maybe the result of using Healy is to be so strong and free and independent that you don't need it anymore. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much. And I think this is really boiling down again. Healy is a tool for awareness. I mean, it all boils down. We become our own master, our own healer again by using this device and creating awareness for ourselves. And this is exactly what happened with thousands of people now. And I definitely one of them. Um, every single member, every single person yes. who just wants to use Healy for themselves and experience this and share this amazing technology and this amazing feelings, this amazing, this amazing balance, this amazing awareness, what we can get with it. And because of all of us, it's going into the world. Because of all of us, we're going to change this planet for something better. Because we are just a mini, mini, mini community, which is so exponentially growing right now through the social selling, creates abundance, creates, creates freedom, and creates good health and more awareness for everybody. I think it's just a beautiful thing, an amazing tool. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you.